Hey uh, everybody, so now that we know how functions work, I thought this would be a good opportunity for us to learn about some useful string functions. So there's a lot of string functions that are already written for us. Just include this header file at the top, include string.h. So create two strings, one named string1 and the other named string2. String1 will be your first name, string2 will be your last name. And then at the end of this program, I am just printing string1 using a printf statement. So let's begin. The first useful string function is string lower. So whatever string you pass in as an argument, this function will convert a string to lowercase. So the first letter in my name is uppercase, it's capitalized. So after passing in string one into this function, my name is all now lowercase. Otherwise, there's string upper that will convert a string to uppercase. And my name is uppercase. String cat will concatenate as in append string two to the end of string one. So we will append the second argument to the first argument. So if I pass in string one, then string two, this will append my last name to my first name. And these strings are now combined. Or I could append a given amount of characters from string two to string one. So the third argument is a number. If I append one character from string two to string one, then this will take the C from my last name and append it to the end of my first name. So that is the string and cat function. There's also string copy, and this one is actually fairly common. So this will copy string two to string one. If I print string one, well, it now displays code instead of bro. This will remove the contents from string one and replace them with string two. Or you could copy a given amount of characters from string two to string one. Uh, let's say that I'm going to copy the first character over. So I'm copying the first character from my last name to my first name. And my first name is now Crow. Or I could set this to two. And this will copy the first two letters over. Coo. All right, here's a few more. So string set will set all characters of a string to a given character. I'm going to set all of the characters from string one to a question mark. All of the characters within my name are all question marks. And string and set will set the first n characters of a string to a given character. So I'm going to set the first character of my first name to an x. So my name is now x row. And string reverse will reverse a string. So if I reverse string one, my first name is now orb. So this next set of functions will return an integer. So I'm going to declare a variable int result. And this function is really common, string length. This returns the string length as an integer. If I pass in string one, this string has a length of three characters. And then I'm going to print my result. And this is an integer. So the length of my first name is three characters. This is a fairly common function. The string compare function will compare all of the characters within two strings. If they're the same, they will return zero. If they're different, they will return a number beside zero. So here's an if statement. If result is equal to zero, we will print these strings are the same, else these strings are not the same. So my first name is not equal to my last name. These characters are different. So this code will print these strings are not the same. And let me get rid of that printf statement. Okay, now if I make these strings the same, then result is going to be zero. These strings are the same. And you can compare a given amount of characters too. So currently I have these strings set to be the same characters. So this will compare only the first character. These strings are the same. Even if I change the other characters, the first characters will still be the same. So this function will return zero. There are two additional versions of string compare and string n compare. They are string compare i and string n i compare. So these will do the exact same things, except they ignore case sensitivity. So yeah, everybody, those are just a few useful string functions. There's still a lot more located within this header file, but we would need to understand how things like pointers work, which we have not discussed yet. But I thought I would at least cover some of the basics. So yeah, those are a few useful string functions in C. If you would like a copy of all these notes, I'll post them to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are a few useful string functions in C.